Okay, so the last time I came to visit, this was full of chickens. There was about 45,000 chickens in this house. To imagine what to do with this space instead is exciting. Like to think, you've got this huge warehouse, what can we do with it? Yeah. And you've imagined something. Well, I've decided to convert from raising broiler chickens to trying to raise industrial hemp in these buildings. And I have a friend in Franklin who has cancer and he's been through radiation and chemo and all that. And he was in terrible pain in his joints and everything and none of the drugs helped him and he started taking CBD and he said he feels like a new man. What's your vision for this? What do you see in the future could happen with this area of West Virginia for this kind of product? What could it do for rural America? Uh, I hope it creates a whole lot of new jobs and new revenue for the farm. You know, farmers in America are in bad shape. Who is big animal ag benefiting? Why, why is it perpetuating? Wall Street, mostly. Pilgrim's Pride, who I raise chickens for, in 2015 and 16, they paid their stockholders $1.2 billion in dividends. It had been almost 20 years since their growers had had an increase in pay. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody says. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to do my part to get that changed. If we were walking through here a year ago, what, what was here? Uh, there was chicken litter four or five inches deep and, uh, and it was covered with chickens. Wall to wall? Yep. I went through three different kinds of colored lights because in addition to white, the plants have, have this. colored light. All right, tell me what we're seeing here. These are my second round of indoor plants that I started from seed. Okay. It smells like so marijuana. <laughs> I'm putting a thousand in each section and I want to get it to where at least once a month I'm harvesting a thousand plants. I'm going to try to make it available to the common folks, which means $50 an ounce or less. For poultry, when they were big birds, they were drinking 8,000 gallons of water a day. When I get the houses set up with full of plants at both houses, that'll probably be half that. How much more money would it make you think net? Have you worked the math out? Uh, once I get up to knowing what I'm doing, it should be somewhere in the $2 million a year range. Uh, my net's going to be 40 to 50%. That's great. And in comparison to chickens, what were you? Well, oh, I think the best year I had with chickens was I netted $7,000. Oh. I gotta get a, like a selfie of me and you because I'm just blown away by this right now. There we go. Good. So you're gonna use half the water. You're gonna make way more money. Uh -huh. And you're gonna employ five times the amount of people. That's a pretty good deal. Seems like a win-win. It all works out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a pet uh, CBD line too. Oh yeah, I've heard about that for pets. Oh yeah, a lot of people give it to their pets. Older dogs and horses. Mm -hmm. I just talked to a guy the other day, he's giving it to his horses. What happened to that horse you had here? They're in the field over across oh, the road yeah. over there. Is there any judgment about it being hump or no? They're like, well, a lot of them use were it. raising their eyebrows every, every time they say something, you know, they're thinking it's something illegal that I'm doing. But, right. You know, I was a law enforcement officer for 34 years. I'm not all of a sudden going to become an outlaw. I don't think. Uh, you can see how the flowers are starting to grow. Yeah, show me where these. the flowers are. Though. It's all these little buds coming out here. So each one of those is a flower. Really smell it. See all the flowers on here? Yeah, there's a ton in here. All of these get big and fat, hopefully, and be full of oil. It forms a clump oh, around, yeah. around the top. People call buds, mm. but they call them a marijuana plant. I like it smells. Yeah, good. it's a nice smell. It's revolutionary what he's doing. It's the future I hope for, for farmers, for rural America, where it's not just about tearing down the farms that exist, it's about building something better building something that takes in consideration the farmer and what they need to live, the environment that these farms are in, the products people actually want, and of course the animals. 